Hi, Prabhu here. Today we will see about how to create and convert SVG 2D design in Photoshop and use as a 3D design in Maya. Stay tuned. Okay, before we use SVG file, so SVG stand for Scalable Vector Graphics. So it will convert instant 2D image into 3D logo. So when you click on this one, it will automatically create it. So it's Maya default. We also use our own SVG file. So SVG is normally created using Adobe Illustrator. So we also use Adobe Photoshop CC to create that one. So open your Adobe Photoshop CC. Okay, go to file and choose new. And choose width to 500, height to 500 and resolution to 300 in a pixel. So I will give highest resolution over here. It's really important and click OK. Okay, now we want to create simple logo over here. So I will design a simple logo. If you want to use your own design, it's your wish. But if you want to follow my instruction clearly, please follow my steps after we, after you know about how to use SVG file in Maya, you will use your own design. Okay, go to and choose ellipse tool and choose as a shape, I will choose my black color, click on here and choose width to 400, height to 400 and click OK so it will create a take mode tool and choose auto select option enable and click and drag it will automatically snap in center and then I want to create another one take ellipse tool and click over here and choose width to 300 height to 300 and click OK so I want to change my inner circle color double click on this thumbnail don't double click over here i want to definitely double click on this thumbnail and change my color to white and choose mode tool and click and drag it will automatically snap in center so i want to use some simple logo over here i will choose rectangle tool click over here as 25 pixels 25 pixels and click OK so take move tool I will move over here so I will use alt and click and drag to take multiple duplicates so if you want to adjust select this one use keyboard arrow to adjust so like this I will use multiple duplicates using alt and click and drag using move tool so like this now I want to export my file so I have simple design so I will take more tool and go to file and choose export as so here you need to choose as SVG scalable vector graphics so I will choose export all I will choose my desktop as my SVG and click save and click S. Yes. now open Maya okay here I already create my SVG file so I will select this one and press delete I will create new SVG file so in SVG option so I will have option to import my SVG file click on this one and choose your SVG and click open so that means our SVG file will be imported so but our all layers should be placed in same area so see here but I need to extrude this front white area so in SVG here we have SVG size to scale your object here in manipulation in path we have our multiple layers as we did in Photoshop so I will choose my circle one 
I will choose position Z offset in negative so that means you will able to see the extrusion you also use each and every object to give offset so I will leave it default I want to only do my circle one so and then here we have offset in global Z offset so that means each and every object will be separately offset so I will leave it default to zero and then we have geometry option so I will go in up see here my SVG file have very low quality so I will increase my curvature resolution up to 20 so that means I got highest resolution and also uh, I will have option to bevel this one so here we have two options so outer bevel inner bevel so I will choose inner bevel and then here we have two option in bevel uh, front bevel and back bevel so I will expand my front bevel and enable front bevel so that means you got front side as bevel you also increase the bevel distance and also bevel offset and also divisions like this see here in back side I have sharp shape if you want to give back bevel here we have option so I will enable back bevel so and also we have option to increase the distance and also segment so now we want to apply some simple material before that I will select this object and go to modify and choose center pivot and press W and move on this side so create polyplane and press R and scale big so really big like this I didn't want any polyplane division so I will give to 1 so I want to give some lighting to this object before that click spacebar to switch over your four views I want to set my camera so I will drag this one and go to rendering and click on create cam so go to panels perspective and choose camera one here you need to set your camera view like this so now I want to go to view camera settings over scan view camera settings and choose resolution gate so like this I will zoom in a little bit so now I want to give some lighting go to rendering and click on area light and go open your Arnold render view I will place over here go to render and choose camera and choose camera shape one so in normal it will be render a perspective view I want to choose my camera view choose camera shape one so when the area light selected so I will minimize this one like this so when the area light selected and scale big and press W and move in Z so now you are able to see our light when the area light selected go to attributes expand the Arnold tab and increase your exposure so I will give up to 7 so like this now I want to give some materials for this object so right click and choose assign new material and choose Arnold AI standard here I want to choose some bluish color so but I need to give some white color to this front area so right click and choose face double click on this face shift to double click on this all other faces like this and right click and choose assign new material and choose Arnold AI standard and choose color to white so I need some specular weight so I will do 0.5 so see here in render view it won't update so I will close this one and open Arnold render view again so it will update it so now I want to select this AI standard one so uh, 
a i stand at 1 and give some specular weight to 0 0.5 or 0 0.3 something so now I select my area light I increase my exposure to 10 ok see here I have lot of noise in my scene so it happened by this area light when the area light selected so I will increase my sample up to 5 ok it's render completed now you clearly understand about how to create and convert SVG 2D design in Photoshop and use as a 3D design in Maya I hope you like it I see you on next project click subscribe button to subscribe our youtube channel we always need your support to create high quality content further so please subscribe. Click here to also watch the tutorial of Maya 2017 tips and tricks.